small now in the frame, lucky fresh. Hello everyone. Welcome in. Really, really all you could see was this bitch. <laughs> How are you doing guys? Welcome in. Uh, you're locked into Airliners Live. Live from the awesome Harden Airport here at Chocks Away Diner. And uh, we're going to be bringing you some awesome, awesome footage guys. Um, Andy's here as well. Come on, got the whole crew. Uh, Stu's here. He's got a press pass on. He's well more important than us. And, uh, I've got one too. Have you got one? Yeah. Well, I, I got Where's a press pass. Where's my press pass? Where's this? <laughs> hey, and uh, yeah, we're going to be bringing you some awesome footage, guys. As you can see, the reds are just behind us over there, and they're going to taxi right past, guys. This is probably the closest we will ever be to the red arrows, and certainly for me as well, the closest I've ever been. So, and uh, they're going to be departing shortly for an air display and then returning back to Harden as well. We're going to keep our fingers crossed guys for a nice break when they return as well. Yeah, We'll see. I know when I was at Valley and they did the family's day, they did a little uh, a little break there as well. So we'll see. Yeah, huge shout out to Tracks Away Diner for providing us with this platform. But they've actually got a platform for the public as well. There's a, what is now known as Beluga Bank, which is a brand new mound they've opened for the public. And I believe you can come here pretty much any day of the week as well. Uh, especially when the Belugas are operating in and out of Harden. So they have audio. the XLs. Okay. Hold on, let's have a look at the audio, guys. Yeah. Make sure you can hear us one sec. Um, give it a talk. Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear us, guys? I'll talk. Maybe listen to it on your phone. But yeah, so um, make sure you come down because this mound's extremely new and um, obviously you've got the diner as well, serves food, hot drinks, all that sort of good stuff and it's right next to uh, the airfield here at Harden so if the belugas are coming and going guys, you're going to get an incredible view and the good thing is about the mound is you're going to get above the fence line as well which is really important because a few times we've been down to the other mound which is great and then the time before that I came, I was kind of balancing like this, trying to get pictures over the fence. So this fixes that. Make sure you get down. Chocks away, diner links are in the chat. And uh, we should be looking good and then we should be sounding good. Yeah, sounds right. It might have been the cable was, was uh, a little bit loose, but yeah. A huge thank you to Stu and Lynn as well. From Come on, the... Stu. Come and say hello. Yes. There I've, he is. I've, I've actually got the uh, there. APC-15. No, you Have I got it? <laughs> you got hey. it. On. There you go. <laughs> you in? Yeah, Looking that's good. it. Right on. There you go. And uh, yeah, here's. Uh... <laughs> I don't know what you're on. <laughs> <laughs> Tell everyone a bit about you then, Stu. Uh, so I'm Stuart. I'm here with my wife. Uh, we brought Airliners Live down today onto the uh, media platform uh, just to come and see what it's like from our home, basically. Um, a bit different from Manchester Airport. Uh, not such a, a big airport, but we have the pleasure of having the, uh, the Belugas here. And uh, if you've never been down here to experience them, then you're missing out. So I, I, I seriously suggest to come down and, you know, it's something you will not... You'll go away and you'll be like, wow, I'm going again. It's yeah. One of these things. That well, the first time we came, we've been back so many times since. Obviously, we met up with you, watched the channel as well. Stu said he would have the channel on today while he was cooking his Sunday rolls as yes, well. Love, lovely to hear Mr. XL, right? In the Mr. Chat. XL in the <laughs> yeah. chat, guys, if you see him. And uh, you've got a big, massive Facebook group as well, haven't you? Yeah, we've got the Blue Gear XL Facebook uh, group. And uh, we only started out as a little bit of fun back in 2019, Valentine's Day, when uh, first XL arrived. And uh, me and the wife, Lynn, decided to set it up. And it was the restaurant fully booked, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Valentine's Day, thought, oh, forget the meal, we'll just set up a Facebook yeah. group. <laughs> no, we decided to, but well, no, I'll never forget that day we came down here, and everywhere around from the back lane to 2-2 to 0-4, to yeah. you just couldn't move yeah. the traffic in yeah. the car. And it was a, a great day. So, like I say, we set the group up. We're now nearly at uh, 14,000 uh, members. Wow. And growing. Yeah. Globally. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, it's a really good group and it's got a really good vibe as well. Everyone's super friendly, dead oh, yeah. helpful. And I know when I came down here, I did a vlog down here by myself and we actually came across each other, didn't we? Yes. And we, you showed me around and everything like that. And I think that's what makes groups like that work because everyone's helping each other friendly giving advice yeah, yeah. and and it works really well yeah and the views you get of Harden as well because there's only one runway here yeah. runway 0422 
and they used to manufacture the A380 wings here as well didn't they and now it's just the A350 but even though it's just one airframe it's still super busy isn't it you get belugas in and out almost every day of the week sometimes like, multiple times a day as yeah, well yeah yeah well, like some days unfortunately like on friday uh, just gone nothing so you know a lot of people were a bit disappointed we get the occasional ones coming on a saturday now few and far between but you know we never used to get them at all and, yeah. and now we are getting them again um, but some days we could have three belugas parked on the apron over there yeah, yeah, yeah. there's well, been a time where we uh, we were filming and the two belugas crossed over each other as we were coming yeah. in which was really cool yeah. as a yeah. mega shot I've, I've actually only got about three or four pictures since we've run this group whereas I've had three belugas in one shot yeah but at the end of the day we have a great relationship with Airbus yeah. and you know to be invited down me and Lynn personally to be invited down uh, as uh, media VIP guest to be up close and personal with XL4 was amazing to be inside there to meet the pilots to yeah. go inside the, the main and it's testament and again to your group and the community yeah. that you've built up and everything like that obviously you've had access to the factory as well all sorts going on and like you say for an airport like this yeah, it's not massively busy, but you've definitely got the top trumps on the belugas coming in. Obviously, we're spoiled with the reds. We just yeah. saw the Shrike Master go out earlier yeah. on as well, which was nuts. I've never yeah. been that close to one. It should be round and about somewhere. Eh? Yeah, about I, soon. I, I believe he, he'll be back before the, uh, before the, reds, before go. the reds go out. I've, so just this... no, I've just noticed in the background that the circus, uh, a couple of the guys from the circus are out. Just over in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah when I arrived, they were signing autographs and stuff through the fence over there. Yeah, well, believe it or not, we were shopping at Tesco's this morning. I'm not name dropping like, but they were in there all buying their meal. Yeah. Oh, was <laughs> <laughs> Nice, nice. Well, we'll show you around, yeah. guys. Let's have a look around. Okay. And uh, links are in the chat as well. If you want to get involved in the Harden Facebook group, we definitely recommend it. Like I say, Stu and Lynn both getting involved in that. They'll look after you in there. Links are at the top of the chat. And links for our host today, Chocks Away Diner, are also in the chat and at the top of the chat as well. Make sure you come down, grab yourself some food, have a look on Stu's Facebook group. He puts times in when the belugas are coming and going. Yep. And kind of marry the two up, get a picture on the mound. Mega. Don't get yeah. much better than this. It's absolutely it? brilliant being with these two guys. Good lad. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Great. Thanks for the invite. Buzzing. Thanks for this. And uh, yeah, the, uh, when that strike master came out before, again, I've seen these go overhead and I've heard them. Yeah. Um, I think me and Jen were, in, were driving through um, near the Max Loop once. Yeah. A one shot through and it was sounding incredible, but then for it to taxi right past us, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's absolutely mega. So you guys can see the. Um, you guys can see our position. And uh, what we'll do, we'll show you kind of the route the red arrows are going to take because you'll be really impressed with this because it's so close, so, yeah. so close. So. so what's the plan then? Um, well, the red arrows are here at uh, the Aviation Park, Harden Airport, of course, Jocks Away Diner, our hosts, overlooking that. And you can see the public are getting right up against the fence there. So close. I don't think I've ever been this close to the red arrows. Um, yeah, and they were signing all scraps and um, the red's one of the pilots as well on the way out yeah um, so these are going to depart soon for real air show uh, they were performing yesterday actually as well we've decided to cover them today they'll do their display over real air show which is not too far from here uh, maybe five ten minutes they'll be over there and then they'll come back and allegedly they might do um, a break uh, of formation arrival as well into CEG Harden Airport give the stream a share especially with those who are into air shows maybe you might know somebody who's even at real air show uh, these are obviously the uh, one of the headlines of the show as they always are the uh, RAF uh, official display team and all the red arrows uh, that are going to be in the display are here at the aviation park. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be awesome. Really looking forward to this. Yeah, it's super busy. I've, I've never, I've only ever been to Chocks Away Diner once before properly. That was to see one of the Beluga XLs departing. I think they used uh, runway two three. Um, and hold on one second.
Just get it. Just use the mic. It's got a wind thing on that, hasn't it? Yeah, that's all right. Stand by, guys. Just while we uh, we always bring a spare mic, so let's switch over to that now. One second. Right, it's one, two, two, two. There we go. Mod Loud and clear. Check. That should be better now. Mod check, mod check. So, yeah, we did initially look into doing another stream from Liverpool Airport to catch the BBMF, but if I'm honest, especially with the opportunity of streaming from Chocksaway Diner, this is a bit more, a little bit more appealing, especially since last year we did the Liverpool Airport BBMF stream as well. So what we're going to do folks is we're going to stick around and wait for the departure we're going to see them start preparing the aircraft soon um, as well as getting ready to go and they're going to depart in um, groups it's twos and threes isn't it so yeah um, it's going to be epic and then obviously guys after they've de departed um, stick around because they'll be coming back and maybe doing a formation break over the top of the airfield here yeah so it's called the spaghetti break, which yeah. is what we're hoping for. And they'll, if it happens, and we're not saying it will, but I've seen it happen quite a few times when they return to airports. As I say, when they were doing the Isle of Man air show and being based at Valley, they did the spaghetti break then. And they basically come over the airfield in formation and then one at a time just loop out and spin around. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really, really cool. So we'll keep our fingers crossed for that. I'm really hoping as well that they are going to use 2-2 two -two for that because they'll go right away from us and we'll get a perfect view right in front of us here. We'll see. We'll see what happens, but it's going to be epic. And uh, as you can see, the guys in the blue suits and the red suits are the crew. So you've got the circus who look after the uh, aircraft, the engineers, people like that. They travel with the red arrows in the blue and the pilots in the red. And uh, we should start to see them coming out and about pretty soon and we're really fortunate with the view we've got here that they'll be getting in we'll be able to see them getting on board the aircraft taxiing out right past us guys so stick around don't go anywhere share the feed around if you can i'm going to put a post on twitter in a second as well and yeah uh, i'm told that the the sort of what we've already got on time performance the punctuality of these guys is pretty spot on as you'd imagine um the estimated the latest etd uh, is uh, 19 minutes past four so less than half an hour away but before they depart guys there'll be more to see yeah because they're going to be getting on board starting up yeah they'll be doing hand signals uh, and then they'll roll them out in groups as well let me, uh, let me get a, a post on the old Twitter then yeah Obviously, Harden Airport as well. Have a police heli based here as well. G-Pol uh, Golf, sorry. It's uh, one of the EC-135s that we see quite regularly at Barton Aerodrome as well. You can just see her parked up over there. g C is the one that we usually have stationed at Barton, but um, I think she's away with Airbus at the moment, having a bit of repair work done to her. One, one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely seeing all the Union Jack tails lined up nicely on the Reds display team. <laughs> Melissa saying it'll be over my house later that I'm not sure how far G Pol G uh, goes but um, Barton Aerodrome generally the police there will will look after the whole of the north west kind of area really not entirely sure how far exactly but like I don't think they'll go down to like Staffordshire but that's technically not northwest anyway nor will they go up as far as like the lakes I don't think 
um, but, but on different days they may go different lengths um, my mum lives on the Wirral for example and she'll see the helis from um, Barton for example um, we've just put a post out on Twitter or X as I suppose I'm after to call it now whatever it is yeah. head over there folks search for airliners live and give it a uh, give it a share give it a comment a retweet let's get as many people in here as possible enjoying this guys because I'm telling you now this is going to be the best view of the Red Arrows taxi and pass that I think we're ever going to see and it's uh, absolutely awesome can't wait for it so let's get plenty of people in 700 watching at the minute and Abigail thank you very much for the 4 99 donation saying I'm sat here sipping a white wine spritzer <laughs> enjoying the stream uh, sorry I missed the stream this morning any vintage aircraft in the air show well just before we went live we got an absolute treat because the BBMF did a low fly past right over the top of us guys I got a few pictures I think Andy got a bit of video did you? yeah 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 Yeah. so we'll post that as a little clip as well it was awesome the Lancaster just come right over our head it was oh them yeah. Merlins uh, yeah if we upload a video of this I'll include that because the Lank going straight over our head we had the yeah the Spitfire and Hurricane as well uh, the Lank was probably the lowest and closest to us but those Spits came over in formation yeah Spitfire yeah Spitfire and the uh, Hurricane and then this was all while the Strike Master was taxiing out as well so yeah it was a bit awkward because the Strike Master was coming out and I thought I'm going to get a belting picture of this on the taxiway and then next thing I tapped on the shoulder like wait look <laughs> it's coming right over our heads and then we're trying to uh, trying to take a picture of that and then obviously we got prop blur on that so you got a low shutter speed yeah. and flick it back up to get this taxi in pass it was yeah it was a bit of a bit of a mad couple of minutes but it was really cool yeah Brody, it was lovely to meet you earlier today yeah thanks for saying hello mate yeah usual nice to see Matt Cam Smith Matt has Matt, uh, got plans this evening so he couldn't make it to this he wanted to I think but uh, you know full day of aviation anyway long day for us I mean it was an early start for the stream this morning wasn't it so yeah, it's been uh, it's been a really good day of aviation. Thanks to everyone who's uh, hung out with us today, spent time in the stream, and uh, for everyone tuning in this afternoon. Like I say, 750 viewers already, and, and we're not even sort of half an hour into the stream. Yeah, it wasn't a scheduled stream either. Just we just hit the go live button, and whoever's here can tune in. We've got a little light aircraft on the uh, way in, so I'll, just, I'll show you this, guys. It's nothing too special, but why not? Eh? You could use it to show off the. Yeah. Oh, you're all right, guys. Don't worry where you are. Yeah, you're perfect. a little uh, little pole there from the little structure that we're on emerge from the other side there it is yeah with the aviation park here there's quite a lot of uh, sort of um, you know general aviation going on here as well as the uh, jets as well so you will see your Gulf Stream citations um, and the likes. And Big shout out to the mods as well today. Obviously, they've been in the stream all morning. We've got plenty of mods in this afternoon as well. So, thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. And what a view that little piper must have <laughs> of all the reds. <laughs> yeah, he picked a good day to go flying today, didn't they? Well, that was why uh, Noel Phillips chose, chose Liverpool Airport last year on bank holiday weekend because that was when they had the Lancaster the Hurricane the Spit, uh, Spitfire and the Eurofighter Typhoon as well that um, Noel could actually get a close up view of I think he was parked right next to the Lank as well yeah amazing it was really cool when we arrived today I kind of parked up and as I was walking through a lad went oh I love your shows no way are you here <laughs> I was like yeah yeah we live stream he's like oh boss no way <laughs> he's really happy oh. to see him Reminds you of the RVP. This it's it's very similar. It's big, isn't it? Yeah, it's it, big I'll be space. Honest, it's, it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's a really good space. Well, they've got static aircraft. They've got an Antonov the AN2 here as well on the ground. There's a tornado as I was coming in as well. Which yeah, is nuts. Yeah, yeah, guys, come on down and have I'm a look. Have a um, guess on what this one is. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, do you? 
sure it does. <laughs> he's gone. He's gone walkies. Yeah, he's a busy man. I was gonna say it's definitely not one that I've seen before. But yeah, if you are down to Harding, guys, I would take advantage of Chocks Away Diner. The yeah. mound over there is no longer open, is it? The yeah, so which is perfect okay. because now we have a mound here, which I think is a better view because you've actually got a full pan panoramic view at the mound. You had a couple of warehouses blocking. So work. that was the mound that I always used to go to then. So was that business land, was it then? Or? It's, um, I think it's all labels. I don't know if yeah. it's for us. Right. Sort of Fair enough. No worries. I mean, listen, why would you not come here anyway? you got got a cafe, lose, nice mound. Well, that's yeah, it. You didn't have any of that at the old mound. This is the place to be yeah. filming, absolutely. So is it open all day, every day? or right. Yeah. Yeah, all, um, all day. All, uh, all the time. Perfect. Because of the reds. Yeah. That's really cool. That's great. Really good spot for him as well, isn't it? We'll uh, do a quick pan of the uh, the cafe guy just so you can see it. There's like a little uh, area for the kids as well, which is nice and busy. And uh, inside, obviously, they've got the, the cafe. We've got some toilets in there as well. So you can really kind of come down here and spend a good few hours here without worrying. And uh, as we say, you've got a great view of the airfield as well from... Uh, the name Beluga Mound or Beluga Bank, sorry, uh, right behind us, and uh, that is absolutely packed. Yeah, people. I think Beluga, Bel the name Beluga Bank came from the spotters group, didn't it? Yeah. It was a competition for the best name, right? I think yeah, yeah. Beluga Bank does sound good, I like that. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, guys, chopped away. Uh, we all sat down, decided to check, go through all the names that were suggested, yeah. yeah, and we all agreed on the same name. So nice, that's the way to do it. I love Beluga Bank, go. yeah, Beluga Bank's great. And if you are down getting photos, make sure you join the Facebook group. Uh, links will be in the chat for Stu and Lynn's yeah. Harden-based community uh, spotters group. Stuart's on the run. Oh, Stuart's running. Go on, we got to get him on the stream, haven't we? Look, he's never going to run again like that on stream. <laughs> he's uh, practising, guys. He's doing the, uh, he's doing the 400 metre sprint next yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be at the fun run at your house tomorrow. It is, yeah. Right, so... The Reds will be departing in Perhaps 20 minutes. Yeah, less than 20 minutes now. It's exciting. It's busy here. It is. So for those just joining, welcome to Airliners Live. Um, to let you know a bit about what's going on, we're going to be bringing you uh, live coverage of the Reds departing. They're going to go and display at Real Air Show, and then they're going to return here to Harden. So when they depart, guys, don't go anywhere because we're going to be catching them arriving back here straight after as well. So spaghetti stick break. with us. Just, um, requested spaghetti break Has arrival. Good. <laughs> there you go. Spaghetti break. It's been confirmed. Apparently. Oh. Apparently. <laughs> Stu said. Anyway, so if it doesn't happen, guys, Harden Facebook group <laughs> at Stuart. <laughs> Send all your messages to him. Not our fault. <laughs> we don't know what runway they're on though, right? Um, so, 99% of the time they'll taxi out here, they will depart from 22 over 04, and when they arrive back, they'll arrive back in uh, information, do whatever they're going to do. Okay, okay, Maybe yeah. spaghetti breaks straight over here, yeah. and then they'll switch back around and then come back in on 04. Yeah. Then they'll, then they'll um, taxi back past you. Yeah, that would be great because we'll have the sunlight in them up then when they do that. That's cool. <laughs> Shoe getting his steps in, that's it, yeah. Yeah, he's getting a lot of steps in there, isn't he? I don't know if he thinks the buffet's open here or what, what he just ran for no reason there. Yes, it's cool, man. I'm excited. It's great, yeah. This. They'll start moving soon then in terms of getting it all ready and getting prepped because, like I said, less than 20 minutes now. Yeah, you're going to have to get the aircraft uh, started up. Hawk jets for the, uh, for the Red Arrows. Will they show on flight radar? Sometimes they show on it. Just as one sometimes, right? Like, just one, yeah. yeah. So as we'll find out. Today. Yeah, folks. Um, the uh, code for this airport is CEG. Search on, on flight radar. Charlie Echo Golf. Yeah. Uh, or is it Echo Golf November Romeo in an EGNR? Um, the uh, ICAO code. And uh, the Belugas do come in um, quite regularly here, like we said. Often the XLs do, but sometimes the classic A300s, Belugas. And... Get your 
bit fine. They usually operate from Monday till Friday. Sometimes rarely on a Saturday as well. Um, but normally on a, a Monday till Friday basis. Doesn't seem like there's any particular day that's more busy than the other. So um, how long are they going to be at Real Land for? I don't think that long at all. I really Usually don't think... like 10, 15 minute display, something yeah, like that. Yeah. I've never actually timed the displays, but from, from memory they are about 10, 15 minutes long. Uh, just YouTube, YouTube stuff. Oh, just yeah, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> no, they might as well do that to you. <laughs> yeah, I think the best chance you'll ever see them on radar is probably with um, Open ADSB, right? That's the name, or ADSB Exchange. ADSB Exchange, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you may only show when they're when they're airborne as well, so if you see them at all. But I previously have seen them on radar and stuff, so you can track them as they do the display of a rail. Keep us updated in the chat about where they are, if they're returning and going out and all that. So probably the whole stream will probably last an hour from now. Uh, we'll probably be wrapping about 5 p.m. UK time. So. Yeah, stick stick around for the next sixty minutes or so. With us, uh, myself. My name is Andy. We've got Martin with us as well. Martin's got his camera today, so we'll be uh, capturing all the aviation action here at uh, Harden for the time being. We did have the police heli as well. Do a quick run um, out of uh, Harden before we started, as we were setting up, and returned as well. The EC-135 Eurocopter. I think this is the first time we've ever caught the Reds live on Airliners Live as well, so... There we go, yeah, first T1 starting up, guys. Yeah, canopy closed as well. All that noise. Here we go, action starting now. Yeah, I think we'll be quiet then and... Enjoy this. Whoa. Thousand live viewers tuned in, guys. Welcome to Airliners Live. Hope you're doing well. Don't forget to hit the like button if you haven't already. Coming soon, Red Arrows in 4K, right past us, guys. Share the stream, get as many people in as possible. Air brake test on the Hawks, you just saw there. Warming us up a bit, this as well, lovely. Yes, we're downwind of this. Lovely smell. Jet fuel. Oh, flight control check. Give the stream a share if you haven't already, folks. Now's the time to share it, guys. Get your friends in, your family. It's gonna be boss. It's, I can't wait for this. Mate. 
I'm so excited. <laughs> Hey Jill, great to see you in. This is awesome. 1200 live viewers. Yeah. 10 minutes till departure. Smash that like button for us, guys. Tuned into Airliners Live. Live from Choxaway Diner here at Harden Airport. Make sure you come down, have a great day out, some nice food. Mods. Giving us a 5-5 five five as well. And if you're new to Airliners Live, welcome. We love aviation here on the channel. Stream from Manchester Airport weekly, Vancouver, Canada weekly, and special aviation events like this as well to subscribe to the channel if you are into your aviation or if you just love a good community chat as well it doesn't matter how much or how little you know about aviation you'll be welcome here on the channel I can't get over how much heat we're feeling from them right now yeah downwind yes 1300 live viewers 100 viewers a minute at the moment flooding into the stream <laughs> wild They're gonna go in a couple of minutes. And Melissa gifting an Airliners Live membership. Cheers, Mel. If you wanna support the channel, that's the best way to do so. Thanks a lot, Mel. Uh, did you read that out? Yeah. Yeah, you read that, okay. We have movement. There we go guys, enjoy this. We're gonna be quiet now and let you enjoy this super close Red Arrows action live on Airliners Live. There we go.
can get a wave off that one. guys departure coming right up this is going to be loud and fast two thousand live viewers welcoming everyone don't go anywhere after this departure because they will be returning back here folks do not go anywhere after they take off First of which just approaching the crash out. Show, but the fun is not over yet. 
stick with Airliners Live because they will be returning right back here, folks. And we are expecting the spaghetti break as well. So it'll be a real treat. So grab yourself a drink, but don't click off the channel. As the Reds will be returning and taxiing back in again very, very soon. Well, they did for a good while, didn't they? Hey, well done, mate. That was epic. So thanks for all the support as well, guys, coming in. We really do appreciate it. Sorry if we're not reading it all out, but thanks to everyone. Yeah, um, keep us updated in the chat about the whereabouts, about if they're on the way back or heading in. That was so good. Taxiing right past us and then departing in formation. 3-3 three, three and a 2. And uh, as I say, they will be returning back here shortly. Hopefully in formation as well. So get yourselves comfy, guys. Not long either. Usually, I think they've got about a 10-minute transit and then a... Uh, 15 20 minute show and then back to us so we're expecting them back here roughly on the hour as you can see the scenes here are crazy it's very busy at jocks away diner as the name implies they do food here as well we've got toilets on site Is that? Got a drink. Uh, i'm good though, no. thank you they got food they got drinks they got a um, Outdoor play area, loads of space. You got Beluga Bank, which is a brand new spotting mound. You can actually see it over there. It's not usually this busy, but uh, the people have an awesome view over the fence line as well of the action here. And this is open all week as well, so you can come and see the Belugas Monday to Friday. Yeah, please, yeah. Universal. Oh, the bill, please. As they're away, we'll uh, have a quick look. This is uh, Airbus Broughton we're looking at at the moment. There's actually a sign over here, which I'd, I'd never noticed before. Uh, back at 457, saying Nathan in the chat. Nice. The world flies on Broughton wings. It certainly does. So here at um, Airbus Broughton is the manufacturing plant for the Airbus A350 wings, which we see week in, week out at Manchester Airport flying. Manufactured here in North Wales. Although we're only about, what, 40 minutes away from Manchester Airport, this is actually Wales, not England. Yeah, you do cross over the border just before uh, just before you get here, so. Yes, and it's not really that far at all. Obviously, North Wales also is where Real is, uh, which is the air show that's on this weekend. I think it was on yesterday as well. And the Red Arrows display team performing at both yesterday and today. Today's the last day of that. Yesterday they didn't actually do the spaghetti break, so we were torn about which day to, to do the stream of, and yeah. assuming they do it today, today seems like the better option. It would be nice if they did it today, obviously we'll keep an eye on it, I mean it's obviously down to things like weather and all sorts of things, but... Yeah, I guess one last hurrah before they uh, That's it, it's the up. last one, isn't it, before they get off? Yeah, and I think next next weekend is Bournemouth, I think, air uh, show. You have to be ready on the old trigger finger for that. Have you oh, seen, yes. that, seen that one before? I've seen it before, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's great. It's uh, really, really cool. Really cool. Yeah. Thanks very much, everyone, tuning in. I know we had over 2,000 live viewers for that departure. And uh, still 1,700 tuning in, watching. Yeah, obviously there's not a lot to look at for now, but they'll be back soon. But guys in the chat, if you can keep us updated about where they are. So whether they've arrived at Rill, doing the display... Assuming they're on radar, I think they are, aren't they? Have a quick look. I'll have a look at Flight Radar 24 first. And then if they're on... Oh, you know what, I'll just go straight to... ADSB, actually. And uh, Susan saying they just flew, flew over us in our caravan near Wrexham. Absolutely amazing. Wow. That's, I bet that was cool, Susan. Yeah, so I've got them on radar. They've not arrived yet. There's just a one um, on uh, open ADSB. So Stu was saying they've got about a 10 minute transit because they'll need to formation up and then get to uh, get to real. Yeah, I noticed on the departure there, they were still in the, the 332 formation. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, and that striker's still up as well, isn't it? Strike master. Not seen that come back yet, but yeah, the strike master well. display team are based here at Harden. Sometimes you might be lucky enough to see him do a flight on a, a random day. I mean, we were lucky today when we arrived. They were taxiing out, and I was really lucky because I'm pretty sure I saw the BBMF when I was driving here earlier on, actually. Yeah, which was awesome. And then obviously we were treated to that fly over right over the top, which was incredible. You do get a lot of military here as well, outside of the, the Reds and Strike Master. Um, you do get the occasional A400 doing a low flyby or stop, uh, touch and go. Yeah, Hawks from Valley as well sometimes fly down here. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Nothing else really based here. There's a couple of experiences, and but obviously Airbus is probably the biggest. Um, some flying schools as well, haven't yeah, they? Yeah. And the uh, M Pass as well. Did you uh, drive in through past the big old Airbus plant site, or did you come from that way? Where you? Uh, I think I came from that way. Yeah. Did you drive past the old A380? Yeah, I must have done. I must have done. Spectacular. That's a huge building. See you on flight radar. Hey, no worries. Nice. Keep an eye on those. Yeah, rail is just on the north coast of Wales. Yeah, they're just inland at the moment. Probably another five minutes till they're at Rill. They've taken quite a strange route actually going south first. I thought they would have just flew as the crate flies. Yeah, I think it is just to allow them time to get in formation ready to go really. Yeah. But there is a uh, another display jet <laughs> just behind us on the apron. There's a uh, relief jet I assume. Not sure yet. Yeah, we don't know yet. Cheers, mate. Top. And then they went round and they came back. Do you want to give another mention to your group, Stu? I mean, you've, you've been posting the times on the Beluga Spotters group, haven't you, on uh, Facebook? Uh, not me. It's Early Bird Lynn. Lynn, yeah. Um, she's the one that does that because she's always up for work at half three in the morning so bang straight on half nice. three in the morning yeah. Yeesh. So, I thought I was yeah. up early <laughs> we struggled to get up for the Sunday show today <laughs> <laughs> yeah but uh, yeah it's, uh, how did you find that the uh, it was the good it was really really good just the how close they were as well was just incredible and we were able to bag all the regs as well in one go yeah nice clean shots of every single one of them so well, hopefully, like I say, uh, we'll get a spaghetti break. This Fingers should be crossed. In on zero four. And to be honest, I know it sounds daft, but I really hope we stay overcast as well because if they are going to break there, in front of us, if it's overcast, we should get a really nice picture as well. And be smoke on as well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. It's going to be cool. Lindsay Dickinson returning for twenty four months. Thank you very much. Saying this is awesome, guys. So they took off on runway two two. Now. Word on the street is they'll be coming back on the reverse of that. There's a bit of a crosswind today, so it's not exactly like it's one or the other. It's um, I think they can use both, and they're pretty capable of landing on the reverse runway in these winds, which means they'll be arriving from this way over here. Yes. Uh, that mountain over, that's Hope Mountain, right? Um, and it's interesting because when the belugas fly, they come over that mountain, don't yeah, they, yeah. pretty much? Uh, onto the approach here on 04. And the reason why we called it the uh, Beluga Bank yeah. is when they use 04 for a departure, if they're going to Hamburg or they're going to Bremen, yeah. they'll always depart on a on a left bank. Ah, yeah, they do, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. hence the Beluga Banking. Nice. The Beluga Bank. That'll be mega. Well, they were quick. They're already over rail doing the display now. Jen saying what's a spaghetti break so a spaghetti break is where they're going to come in in formation and then one at a time they're going to break away from the formation and circle back round to land uh, you've seen it before at Valley Jen um, but it's really really cool it's, uh, you're going to love it if they do it we're not promising but we're keeping our fingers crossed yep. it'll be, uh, be incredible to see that if it happens definitely it's And uh, we'll uh, show you the setup here as well, guys, so you can have a look around.
and uh, we're live from our host today, the Chocks Away Diner. Links are in the chat if you want to come down and uh, experience it for yourself. And uh, keep an eye on the group for when the belugas are coming in and uh, come down, have a sarni, something to eat, a drink. And uh, this is where we are, as you can see, a nice big open space and uh, the cafe and the diner just off in front of us as well. I can't remember what we had last time we came, uh, last year. It was like fish and chips or something. The food was really good, actually. Nice. Like I said, the, the fact that they have the kids' play area here, loads of space, you can bring the kids along with you, you got toilets on site. It's like the RVP, really. It's the same kind of experience. Got some static aircraft on the ground. And you might not just see the belugas if you do come to see them. You might see some other bits and pieces, maybe even some military if you're lucky too. Yeah. So yeah, huge shout out to uh, Chocks Away Diner and uh, very honoured to be uh, on this uh, media platform here that they've constructed just for this event. That's cool, isn't it? And I hope they make this a regular thing with uh, not just this platform, but making a big day out of uh, the special visitors here at Harden. Yeah, and it's really good for especially Chocks Away. Tons and tons of people here enjoying it, buying some food, buying a drink, everything like that. And obviously staying open late as well, which is uh, perfect for us. And uh, yeah, do you want to shout out the company that looks after this as well for us? Uh, just off on the side here, just based at Harden, isn't it? Absolute legend. If, uh, if you do grab the name of them at some point, even if it's later on today, we'll put a thank you in the description for them as well. Yeah, quite overcast today as well. Some dark clouds, but I don't think there's any rain forecast. Definitely not looking as bad as it was this morning. We did a live stream from Manchester Airport, as you all know. And uh, for the first hour or two, it just rained non-stop. <laughs> yeah, and then finally a massive shout out to the aviation park as well. Here at Harden, we've been massively involved as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's been a really cool, really cool day. I was kind of like looking forward to this all day, really. And while we were streaming today, I was not wishing the stream away, but I just really wanted to get here and enjoy the Reds. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. It's been a long, a long day, but I've been so energised. Yeah, it's been cool, hasn't it? Really like, really and the show today went so fast as well. <laughs> And if you are just tuning in, welcome in folks. The Red Arrows left us about five or ten minutes ago to do their display over Rill. And they're going to be returning right back here to Harden very shortly. So stick with the channel. You've got plenty of time to go and make yourself a quick brew and grab a drink and things like that. Yeah. Um, but we're expecting them back in about 15, 20 minutes time, something like that. Yep. I don't think their display lasts that long. It, it is like five to ten minutes. Like I said, I've never timed it, but I've seen them before a few times, and it definitely seems like that. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that their, their timings uh, like setting an alarm clock. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'll go off exactly. I noticed that. Like it was exactly, it was exactly uh, 19 minutes past when they did take off. So. So yeah. Uh, hopefully, we get them front on, like they did yesterday. Yeah. But I have been informed that rather than just doing a flat. Coming in. We might get a spaghetti break. Yeah, let's go. If the wind calms down a little bit, then yes. Um, really it. it is a bit windy today, isn't it? Has anyone in the chat got the meta for Harden? Yeah, it's definitely a strong breeze coming in. Yeah. It's calmer at Manchester, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Sam and Dakota are here too with us. They decided to come along for the ride. I did nip home on the way back as well. <laughs> did you get time? I was wondering yeah, if you yeah, yeah. straight here. Yeah. I literally, I drove home from the airport. I was home for 15 minutes. Yeah. Got back in the car and headed straight up here. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, nice and busy. How was the traffic? So I know when I was watching Fine. the stream today that people saying that it was like gridlock Mate, and weren't it? Nothing. There was no yes. Yeah. Straight through. Absolutely. Usual Sunday traffic really, wasn't it? Like I, I, chill. I, I sent you the message that said it's all good round here. So yeah. Nice. I think it was a bit of drama built up over that, I think. But no, it was straight through, no issues, 50 minutes for me. Yeah. Oh yeah, sorry, I was going to explain to you about uh, why there's always one jet left here. Yeah, just Steph, on. Step in there in a mic there, yeah. Steve. Um, 
So that's your microphone. Uh, right. Okay. So they always they always bring an extra jet. Uh, it's basically if any of the others go tech. So if one of them goes tech, then they can still go out as an eight ship. Um, and obviously they have to bring. Uh, they when they arrive they bring the circus in. So the circ uh, half of the circus will travel in on the jets. The other half will come by bus. Yeah. I was speaking with them yesterday. So. As you can see now, um, you've got the circus coming back out now, so they'll check where all the chocks are ready. Um, and then, as I say, you know, this is the, the display will finish about 10 minutes yeah. before they're due back here. So then they'll get into their formation, and then if we get the spaghetti break, they'll come in. But they always carry a spare jet. Yeah. Um, it's a really sort of well practiced and well rehearsed routine now especially with the ground crew you can see all they're ready doing all their bits and pieces waiting yeah. for them to return and even so much as flight control checks engine starts you were all synchronized and the taxi out as well all really yeah. synchronized obviously the reds have been doing it for years right oh obviously but this is one of the the best places to see the red arrows and and one of the reasons is Whenever they go and do displays, sometimes they'll never land at a local airport. They'll go from base, do the display, return back to base. Here, it's a two-day uh, air display at Rill. Yeah. So they'll come in, they'll land, they'll come over, they'll meet all the public, uh, have a chat, sign autographs, give away pin badges and awesome. whatnot. And they can interact with all the people that make the effort to come down here. And as you can see, you know, it's, it's really, really, cool, really busy. It? They were signing autographs when I came in. Yeah. Everyone was really hyped to see them. And everyone just loves the Red Arrows, don't they? Well, so that's, that's what the pilots miss as well. Is that they miss the interaction with the public. Mm -hmm. So to come here, they absolutely love it. So if they're doing a display at, uh, say, Clacton or places like that, because it's so near to the home base, they'll do the display, they'll return back, because it's obviously more convenient for them to do that than yeah. rather than do an overnight stay somewhere. So... This is why we love them coming back here. Yeah, we've had them overnight at Valley when they're doing the Isle of Man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which was cool. So we, we got a really good vantage point of them taxiing out because at the uh, Ross Niger end of Valley, you've got all the sand dunes. Yes. And they're taxiing right down towards you. And yeah. when they taxied out then, they were in like a little kind of diamond shaped formation as they were coming down. It was yeah. it was awesome. Really, really good. Yeah. Spent many a happier day down there. Many a happier day. And Jen seems like she's managed to find a. Uh, Facebook live stream of the air show so she's keeping me up to date with how they're getting on wow. oh awesome so uh, hopefully uh, let me know when they're coming back Jen <laughs> what's this coming in here is uh, this, oh this yeah. is a returning light aircraft by yeah. the looks of it yeah, might yeah. as well grab this for you guys so you can see something here yeah so I'll move out the way yeah they've disappeared off radar for me so some updates would be good Jen's our eyes and ears there yeah, yeah. where is it sorry on the approach still just about to touch down in oh yeah I see yeah, yeah. One thousand five hundred people watching this. <laughs> yeah, stick around, guys. Reds will be returning here shortly. Thanks again for everyone tuning in. This has been a uh, real privilege for me and Andy as well. Yeah, honestly, really good. Thanks to Stu for organising this. Chocks away, and the aviation part. When they were starting yeah. engines and stuff, then it was just magic, wasn't it? Was it was nuts, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really cool. Okay, I'm back on child duties. So no worries, mate. Sam Enjoy. And Link can get back up here ready for the return. Hey, thanks, Stuart. Yeah, 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 appreciate, appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, mate. We'll, yeah. uh, we'll wrap up when they've returned. Nice one. Yeah, nice Cheers, one. Cheers. 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 going back down. Sam was asking if she wants to, um, to explain people her new job boss. And that's probably a much bigger conversation for another day, I think. Yeah, I think a live stream, uh, sort of a Manchester live stream, probably. Yeah. Or maybe. even a Barton live yeah, stream. Yeah, Barton show, yeah. That might be more appropriate. But yeah, the Airliners Live newsletter is under, under construction at the moment. The August edition should be out in the next week. Um, so do make sure you follow us on the likes of Twitter to get that when we uh, post it. 
we're not going to do like a mailing list or anything like that to post to that. We'll just keep you guys updated on social medias. Oh, I'm so hyped for the Easter return, mate. Yeah. I am really excited. Just for our planning purposes, if they're going to come here then, I guess they're going to break around there somewhere, aren't they? Straight yeah. down the runway and off to the side. They keep your head on the swivel because they could come from anywhere. <laughs> Yeah, it's Jen Jen's saying that live stream's ended now, so they could be returning wow. soon. Wow, that could be really soon then. If they fly as the crow flies back to us, that would be pretty quick. What time are we on now? Uh, 22. And if you do love your aviation, if you can subscribe to the channel, follow the channel, we'd really appreciate it. We bring you live aviation from Manchester Airport, Vancouver, Canada. And... Uh, another location very very soon ah what could that be hey Sam you're on the big time for hey you're on the big time for I've got you some sensational probably higher than you remember, remember next time you go abroad yeah yeah there's the extra uh, the extra red arrow here on the ground just uh, as a relief aircraft did they say there was another strike master here on the ground I think there is I isn't there so yeah there's another two yeah another two but um, that Shrine Master's still up somewhere. Yeah. I was curious as to whether it was going to return before we uh, saw the Red Arrows come back, but unfortunately not yet. But we'll see. Probably some pilot training going on on that one. Yeah. Yeah, I think we've seen the Strike Masters back in um, Southport, I think. As well as the Blades display team as well. They're pretty cool. Using the extras. Barton actually has its own... Uh, based uh, display team the Northwest Aerobatics obviously they don't do air shows but they do uh, experiences you can go up and fly on board an extra yeah some nice aerobatics going on in there they have uh, they have invited us up I'm not ashamed to say that I politely declined <laughs> yes but um, I would I would say guys that a few times in a call John Fezzer has said uh, I'm not scared yeah so uh, we may get John Fezzer up I think Jen Jen was down, wasn't Jen she? Jen was down. I'm not sure how down she was. She said she was down, but I'm not sure, though. I think the Reds are on another level, though. Oh, yeah. Mate, imagine going up in one of them, because sometimes they fly people in the back of them. Yeah, the I, was engineers I was looking at that. I was looking at the, the extra seat they have, and I was like, mate, they could have just threw someone else in there, you know, like... I think people would pay a lot of money for that. People already pay a lot of money to fly on, like, you know, the, the two-seater Spitfires that they have, you know, based at Duxford. I think our bod, Terry Edwards, flew on one as well. Yeah, he went in a Spitfire, and yeah. the pictures and the videos that he come out with were just nuts. Yeah. So the Red Arrows fly the uh, Hawk T1s. Um, at Valley, they use the Hawk T2s. Powered by Rolls-Royce engines. And... Uh, really nice loud noisy jets they are there was uh, speculation about what the reds would switch over to at some point we're yeah. not entirely sure but like a newer generation I'm, I don't know if there's just like budget constraints and stuff but yeah the T1s are starting to uh, well they definitely put the years in at least yeah but, uh, they're pretty iconic an iconic jet they'd have to be something pretty special to uh, to replace those I think especially with the beard such a prestigious and well-known display team you know Jen saying down for what the uh, aerobatics team at Bar and didn't you say you'd be down to have a go in one of them <laughs> looks like a runway inspection taking place here now as well so fingers crossed we're not too far away from the Reds returning and if you have enjoyed today's show please hit the like button and if you're new subscribe to the channel as well yeah really it should be back it. it should be back in the next sort of five or ten minutes yeah I'd say so yeah I'd what? say ten minutes uh, oh that's a seagull I'm <laughs> I'm, not, uh, I'm looking everywhere and I'm, the seagull looked like he was going pretty quick he must have caught a breeze but, uh, seagull off final approach oh he's done a go around yeah smoke wasn't <laughs> on for that <laughs> spaghetti break <laughs> <laughs> probably a chip break yeah fish and chip break <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, there's enough of us. We all have to stand in. A yeah, circle. the direction the camera's pointing now is the direction that Rill is. So, if they fly back as the crow flies, which they very well might do, we'll see them coming from this direction. Yeah, it's going to be very quick as well. I don't even think we're going to have time to spin the camera round, to, uh, spin the mic round, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that 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 lank and the Spitfire came pretty quick, but this is uh, this will be something else. This. I think I need to. Uh... Yeah, now is the time to get your eyes on the stream, folks. John said he's not scared. John, would you actually do it, John? I mean, if you do it, John, they have already offered. <laughs> they have they have offered to let people up. I'll do it any day of the week. I'll get back to my driving. You, you say yeah, Jen would do it. Jen said, oh yeah. I don't know if that's a defo. You do know they do full on loops and spins and everything. Oh, Serious G force, like. Like really big like, G force. Yeah, like. Nine you're talking like, yeah, 9G. That's like double what Nemesis has at Alton Towers. I can't do it. All the G's. Yeah, can still see them on radar. They are still over real. Oh, are they? Yeah, does seem to be updating as well. So. Oh, good. At least just... we don't have to panic then. I guess when we can see them heading back, we'll spin the mic around and get ready. Yeah, I think um, they're probably just wrapping up the display at this point. If I'm honest. I'd have a go, and if I throw up, so be it. Fair enough, Jen. Fair play. I wouldn't do it. No. Terry Edwards says, "Put me down for it as well." Are we going to have a full on? Uh, do we need to start charging commission for this? <laughs> Give them a ring, say, hey, we've got four candidates already. <laughs> 10%. Test <laughs> yeah. Bank says he'd do it as well. Yeah. Well, you're talking about you want to start flying again, you know, so. Hey, listen. Throw yourself in the deep end. Listen, I'm, I'm man enough to admit I would not get in one of them. Yeah. No, I wouldn't either. It's a bit chilly today, isn't it? It is. I feel like I've been saying that all day today, to be fair. You your Airliners <laughs> Live stunt team. Imagine, Airliners Live synchro pairs over Bart. <laughs> Where's Owen Flemmo? I thought that. I he thought would... this would be right up his street. Well, he was well, that real. that real, though. He, he was there yesterday. Right. He did real yesterday. Is he there today as well? I don't know. What Lord knows why he does two days in a row. Like, he, he yeah. I thought with him being so close, he'd probably do real one day and then come here. Yeah. Yeah, that would make sense because you could get to see the see the crew and all that. He's literally Mr. Red Arrow. Him. He's, he's, he knows everything about the Red Arrows. He. He's just Mr. Red. He knows everything about the play as well. Well. They actually grounded the Reds last weekend, didn't they? We thought they were going to be cancelled for this weekend. Yeah, there was an issue with the Jets wanting them, but it got resolved pretty quick. I think they were up the next day, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was pretty much a, a non-issue for as far as the Reds are concerned. And Paul Morris saying, looking good up on, up on the scaffolding, boys. Hey, where are you, mate? I don't, I'm, I'm going to say give us a wave, but I'm not going to look where to look. <laughs> but uh, if anyone is down here at Chocks Away, hope you're having a great time. We certainly are. Yeah, it's good. No, Anyone I say that. know where they are? Not yet. They're still over a real a minute ago. Yeah. They're probably on the way back now, if I'm honest. Yeah, they're... Oh, they are still on radar. They, they're still faffing about over a real. They're even following Owen on Twitter, Jan says. Even what? The Reds follow Owen on Twitter. Oh, wow. Well, the Reds have yeah, their own I'm social media right. guy, don't they? They might as well just hire Owen at this point. The airline is live stunt team. As part of the charity event. Oh no. God. I am so down. Don't, don't mix charity and the stunt team. No. It, it's better than Shaving, shaving our your heads, heads was no, enough. No, we're not doing that again. <laughs> I, we are definitely not doing that again, you're right. Thank you, Andrew. 
said his hair would grow back to Texas. It did not. It did not. <laughs> My hair grew back so slow. And when it came back, it kind of got to like this awkward mid stage where it wasn't long enough to do yes. anything with it. Yeah. yeah. But it wasn't short enough to look good. So I had to go to the barbers and just say, mate, cut the sides, but whatever you do, don't touch the top. Yeah. I'm really trying to get it to grow back. I'm pretty sure, if my memory serves me correct, Andy wore a hat all the time. I think I did, yeah. This week. Yeah. It's when the uh, airline is live beanies came into real good use. Bob tuning in from the Philippines. Welcome. Welcome, Bob. Um... Usually the last thing they do is the, um, is it the heart they use the end on with the, the reds? It's quite common, isn't it? Yeah, it's the hardest. Yeah. Hey, man, hey. The lad, he's got a stream on as well, looking fresh. The lad, he's got his lad on his shoulders as well. Best view in the house. Early days, actually, but I think they are heading back. Okay. Already. Yeah, I think they are. And he's committing. Yeah, yeah, they, they, yeah. It's got to be heading back now. He's coming quick, though. Yeah, let's um, spin the microphone round, guys. Keep your eyes on the skies because the Reds are on the way back. Now's the time to share the feed. Let's get everyone back in and enjoy this. And we're going to be uh, yeah keeping our eyes on the skies now. Yeah, the direction that we're pointing at is where we'll see them. <clears throat> By the looks of it, and they're coming in pretty quick. Red Arrow's returning live on Airliners Live, it's going to be nuts.
really lucky, guys. We get you break. That was amazing. How cool was that? Can't wait to watch that back. So here they come, they're going to taxi in now, and that will end the proceedings. And this is a shot you want head on with all the reds taxiing back in. Wow, look at this. Get your screenshots ready.
everyone lining the fence line to welcome them back. Exiting now. What an awesome sight. See the Reds returning, refueling truck now, heading over to him as well. Wow, look at this. Army Green fuel truck heading over as well. Right. So there we go, ladies and gents. What a treat that was. That was uh, that was somewhere else. On that was so good. That's going to go down as probably one of my favourite streams we've ever done yep. on our Yeah. Right. How cool was that? Yeah. Really good. And uh, they're going to be uh, departing later on this evening, mate. Stu. Seven o'clock tonight. About seven o'clock tonight. Obviously, we're not going to stick around for that. Uh, but that if you are here in the local area, they'll be departing about 7 p.m. tonight. A huge, huge, massive thanks to Shu and the Chocked Away Diner and everybody for sorting this out for us. It's been absolutely mental. Uh, what a view. What an awesome view. And uh, thanks for using the chat as well for tuning in. 2,300, 2,400 live viewers at one point while watching them. Shu put in a good word. Got the spaghetti break as well. Well, it wasn't quite what we expected, but it was. It's a bit too windy. It was like a staggered break, yeah. yeah. It was good that they did, though. It was nice, good to see. I think we uh, we did. Uh, sometimes they do go up in formation and then break off from that. But I think, like you say, with the wind and stuff today, we were fortunate just to get what we got, and it was it was cool, right over the top, breaking off. Yeah, couldn't have asked for much more than that. Can I just put in a, a thank you? Cheers to Greg. To all the guys that have helped us out for this weekend, we absolutely so appreciate it. To Sean for the hospitality, for you know the food and the drinks. You know, without that, you know, it, this is what the community is all about, and this yeah. is it, it's about getting people together. And you can see from the crowds behind us how much they enjoy it. You know, what better place to spend it on a bank holiday weekend than come to see the Reds? Yeah, so, mega and, and to have you two guys down, with Sam and Dakota as well. Uh, doing a live stream absolutely thanks guys yeah, we, we appreciate that as yeah, well thanks very much really for the invite, mate. Really thanks appreciate very much it. that's yeah, been thanks. absolutely Cheers. incredible we're, uh, we're going to sign off there I think it doesn't get much better than that guys you've been locked into airliner's life hats off to this guy as well on the camera keeping track of that we're going to watch it when we get home I'm, I'm excited to watch it back I'm yeah, like yes. really really we'll excited. get an edit up for you guys as well so 4k edit on the airliner's live channel as well yeah. Yeah. you've been watching Let's airliner's live thanks guys catch you on the next one Cheers. thank you see you now. Bye -bye. Wasn't that? That was good.